There it is. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday, it's June. I don't think I'm late for a meeting or anything. <laughs> Sun is up and shining. It's a beautiful day. So let's go make our day what we want our day to be. All right? I mean, that's that's the agreement that we have, right? Is that what's what we do? We make our day what we want our day to be. So let's do that. Woohoo! Trying to get you to hear this cardinal, this female cardinal. I'm hoping she doesn't poop on me. Oh, there she goes. I'm not gonna lie, I ate too much yesterday. We went to a sister in law's house pool party. I just ate too much and the scale absolutely showed it. But I have done my 16 hour fast and I'm hungry. And so I'm trying to get some fiber with the good old frosted mini wheats. Too many carbs though. I also spent some time last night in uh, investigating workout programs um, that I can do that'll be sustainable, you know, at my age too. Um, so I'm gonna start working on that June 1st. So later today, is the, my plan i'm going to actually actually work out now i do you know grab these gallon jugs of water and do uh, exercises with them out here but it's not doing anything and i need to take a more serious more rigorous and more scheduled approach to it i have to have a plan and not just do stuff because yeah you know it ain't working and what if what you're doing isn't working change it right you don't keep doing the same thing that's the definition of insanity as is often publicize so yeah so we just got to change so i'm going to change and, but plan have a plan and a schedule and be diligent rather than just oh i'll just this here that day i'll do a little bit of this that day because that isn't working okay back to work work all right so here's what we're going to do i've got my list here of seven dumbbell exercises it's june 1st so we're going to start working out three times a week with the dumbbells i've got a barbell here i've got the this is the smallest space ever to, to work out in, um, but I got the weights, I got the stuff, I need just to have the determination, the desire to get it done, because um, I need to change. So uh, we're gonna do these seven exercises. We're gonna attempt to do two to three sets, two sets of each exercise. I'm gonna have to spend some time in between switching so I get the, the weights right, because this is the first time. So this is kind of like our norming session to see how uh, much weight I can do the chest press or a single arm row or the, uh, you know, the curls and that stuff with. Um, I haven't worked out with weights for a while, so I did all those push-ups. I've been doing all these squats and lunges, but I'm going to hit the weights. Uh, all right, so let's see how this goes. I'm not going to film it all. Um, here's the stack. I got weights, and I got this thing on here, and I got the dumbbells under there. Um, just random weights that I've collected over the years. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's what we settled on. I'll link where I got it in the description or put a card in. Chest press, single arm row, side lateral raise a stiff leg deadlift, dumbbell squat. These are all dumbbell exercises, alternating curls, dumbbell triceps ascension curls, as you call them, skull crushers. So we did uh, 12 reps of the first one, three sets, 20 pounds, and then you can read the rest. So alternated between um, mostly between 10 and 12 reps, although the second exercise, the single arm rows, I could do 20 reps times two with 20 pounds, so we'll just have to adjust the weights. Skull crushers, man, that and this, the, my shoulders. And I've been working on my shoulders, right? I've been doing rehab shoulders. I've been doing the, um, you know, with the gallon of water. I'm doing these, which is only eight pounds. 
So I'm a little dismayed that that's all the reps I could do of those two exercises. Just, you know, 10 pounds and just 10 times a couple. But hey, this is day one of, of uh, a exercise plan, a weightlifting plan. So, you know, I'm sweaty. <laughs> all right, I got work to do. See you, bye. I heard the doorbell ring. What could it be? What could it be? It's what I've been waiting for, for a long time. I can fix my car. I can drive my car. Yes. Yay! It's true. Here we go. I can finally replace my coils and drive my car. I'm very excited. Bubble wrap on the ground. Bubble wrap. I mean, I don't know why unboxing is a thing, but it is. All the way from Germany. That's is good, yeah. That's the thing. Them are the good ones. Woohoo! This install is going to take like no time. Like literally no time at all. I'm very excited. I'm going to get this done. Actually, the next thing that I need to do is I need to buy replacement plugs for this, these guys, um, because they keep breaking, but you know, that'll happen. Those are cheap and that's pretty easy to do. You just need the tool to put in there to pull the pin out and then you reverse that thing. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna film it because I need both hands. And then I'm gonna drive my car. All right. Cinch these down. I'm still missing one from one of them, we know, right? They don't need to be super tight. I'm sure there's a torque spec on them, and I have no idea what the torque spec is, and I don't care because these things don't wiggle loose. And like I said, we don't want them to be super tight because we don't want them to get stuck on here. All right, so that is the bracket that holds all of this stuff on. I had to unclip this. I got to put these two things back on. Um, and we're good to go. You've never done this before. This um, has a little rubber, there's a little slot in this rubber piece right here that slides onto the, oh, my flashlight is being stupid. There we go. So the metal bracket here, that's the top of the metal bracket, and then this rubber piece here just slides onto that. And now I have to attach this plug for the, whatever this, N275. And then I've got to put a couple of bolts back in. That's it. Now your vacuum box just tucks underneath these guys, these two things. And there's a bolt right there. It's kind of a pain to get in there. And then this hard line has a bracket that goes in here. And there's one more thing I have to screw down. I can't remember what it is. I'll figure it out. I remembered. The third one goes right here. Holds this hard line in place. Actually, it's kind of tight to get the 10 millimeter socket onto it, but you know, if you got skills, you can get it done. Hoses, vacuum lines, I should be more specific, I suppose. Well, I've done a couple of miles and the ignition coils seem to have fixed whatever problems I was having. And I'm happy about that. Next project, of course, is the uh, I have an ABS sensor that I have to put in on the right side, the passenger side front tire. And I have to change the oil. I have all the stuff for that sitting in the garage. And then comes suspension kind of stuff because I have the bushings for the control arms. And then probably the uh, ball joint or I'll, I'll need to get replaced. So there's some money that I'm gonna have to spend there. Anyway, I'm so pleased, I'm pleased.
Can you tell that I'm pleased? <laughs>